Hey guys, welcome to the How to Channel. And in this video, I want to share with you guys how you can save some more memory space on your Apple device, uh, whether it be iPhone 6, 5, 4, whatever generation it is. These principles can still apply to it. So the two key areas that I want to focus on is in your photos and also your email. So we all know that we use our mobile device a lot when it comes to images. For example, if you're uploading to Facebook, Instagram, and any other platforms, if you maybe do anything online like that. So you need that extra space sometimes to keep your everything afloat on your device. You know, So the first thing we're going to head into is into settings. And then the first thing you need to do is to go down to general. And then you're going to go to storage and iCloud usage. And then you're going to see the difference now here. So I'm going to go to manage storage. As you can see from my own device here, you can see that photo and camera takes up over 621 MB of space. So that's a lot of space in terms of like if you need more space for other activities and maybe your device may be showing a, a bigger number than this as well. Who knows, you know? So the key thing we have to do as well, for example, if after you have uploaded or taken those photos, you can maybe save them to your desktop. You know what I mean? If, if you have any other means of storing these um, images, you can store it to your, your PC, laptop, whatever that is, iCloud, you name it, you know, so at least you can free up the space back onto your mobile device. So what you're going to have to do first, you're going to go down into, go back into your general. Okay, so we're going to go to photos and camera. And then we're going to go inside here and we're going to do a lot of different bit of tweaking here. So the first one you're going to keep is, if, for example, you can keep your iCloud photo library on. Because in essence, whenever you take any images or photos, whatever that is, then you can automatically stream it or upload it directly to your iCloud. So that way you don't necessarily have to keep it on your device if you choose not to. So you can keep that one on, but as for my photo stream, if you notice, like for example, into your into your photo, you normally have a second one here where you have a duplicate of whatever is in your camera roll is also in your photo stream. So that what it is, Apple will take two copies of it. And you don't need to have two copies of pretty much the same thing sometimes. So what you're gonna have to do, you can just go ahead. So we're gonna go back into it. So we can turn that off. And what it is, it will delete all of those duplicate ones. So you go ahead. So it deletes that one. Then iCloud sharing. You can also turn it off because this doesn't have much of a purpose, to be honest with you. And um, so we move right down. And we have um, summarized photos. I mean, you can keep that on. It doesn't do much, really. But the last one as well, which keep normal photos, Whenever you take photos, Apple also do an HD quality type and also the normal one. So in an essence, I mean, you don't need to have two of the same again. So you can literally switch this off as well and just keep normal ones. Because in an essence, of it, you don't need to have, I mean, you can always, I mean, let's face it, if you're going to go into Instagram and those places, you can use your own filters to probably tweak back your image how you want it, you know, rather than having two of the same thing. So that eats more of your space when space is your problem. So that's one of the way you can get rid of those um, duplication of images and space which have been eaten up by these photos. So the next step, we're going to go into our email. And that's where, like I said, if you can see mine here, I literally, literally got over 24,000 standing right there looking at me. So I need to get rid of them as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over back into settings as well. Okay, so we're going to go over to mail, contacts, and calendars. So you're going to hit that, then you're going to hit on your email name, then you're going to hit on the account, then you're going to go all the way to the bottom to advanced. And then you, as you can see how your email have been set up from default from Apple, what it is, they already done it by not necessarily put it, they have two options, one, delete mailbox or archive mailbox. So by default, it always come with archives. So in theory, whenever you delete anything from your your mailbox, in theory, it just archives into another folder. So you still have it on your device. But like I said, if you was to go back into here, I will just leave it as it is, go down, go into my email as a demonstration here. Let's say, for example, I go here. And I want to delete this one, even though it's show more, but obviously in more, it doesn't say nothing in terms of deleting nothing here. 
And even if you say archives, I mean, it doesn't delete it. Say it, it appears as if it's deleted, but in theory, haven't. So what you're going to literally have to do is go back into the settings itself and go back here, go back into advanced, and then tick, remove the tick and highlight it back into delete mailbox. And after you do that, you come out of it, and then you press done. Then you head back over into your email. And then I'm going to do another demo here now. So I'm going to go to oh, delete my friend here for a second. So as you can see now, it turns from that one to now to delete. So you can go ahead and pretty much delete whatever you need from out of your email if you wish to do so. Like for me, I need to sit down one of these days and get rid of most of these as well. Because these are most of what I'm doing for my own business as well. But like I said, I don't have much time to get around to it. But like I said, these are the, the ways you can come in and remedy these things. Like I said, you go down to into your mail. You click on your, your name of it, you click on your account, you go down to advance, and then you just press that, you apply that, and pretty much that's how you do it. So like I said, if you was to do these two things for your own um, iPhone itself, you literally can save yourself tons of space. Like I said, your your inbox for, for your mail, I mean for your photo, as you can see, I already moved that one. So you can see here. You can go back into your camera roll and you can just go ahead because for me I, all i got here is just stuff to put on my instagram and stuff like that and pretty much you know i haven't got more personal images in mine here but i need to just go ahead and i already use some of these already so all i need to do is come ahead come inside here now and just get get all of these one removed which i already used already so that's how you do it and like i said if you like this video Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much one more time to hang out with the How to channel. And have a blessed day. Thanks.